Princess Catherine knows how to dip into the picture of perfect courtesy even with obstacles. The Princess of Wales, courtesies have become the focus of a new viral video on social media site as she continues her extended absence from public duties while recovering from planned abdominal surgery. Since her marriage to Prince William in 2011, the princess has been spotted courtesying at a number of high-profile locations. During Catherine's recuperation, in good progress, Fans have taken to social media to post images and clips from favorite past appearances, one area of focus of which being her graceful curtsies to the late Queen, King Charles and Queen Camilla over the years. Her curtsy has been widely praised by fans on social media as they have to admit Catherine has a resemblance of Princess Diana doing a perfect curtsy. You can see that she has respect and deserves the crown. It won't be long and she won't have to curtsy to anybody. One day, she will be queen. At the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II, the fans have highlighted a hidden prompt given to her daughter, Princess Charlotte, advising her when to curtsy while Prince George was also with the group, offering a bow at the solemn moment in the procession. The Princess of Wales' historic courtesy offered to King Charles III at his coronation has become the subject of a new viral video after footage from the Westminster Abbey ceremony has resurfaced. During the coronation ceremony, Charles was crowned using the historic crown jewels and, upon his exit from Westminster Abbey, received a wave of bows and curtsies from members of the congregation as he passed. The footage of Catherine dropping into a deep curtsy, wearing her coronation dress in the blue and red robes of the Royal Victorian Order, has been highlighted, with some fans suggesting it serve as a marker of a new beginning in the King's reign. The princess continues putting her royal etiquette training and display at Garter Day. As she is not a member of the order, Catherine did not participate in the procession, though she did attend the service at the chapel. And after it ended, the princess watched the king and queen leave the service in a carriage alongside William. As the monarch and his wife passed by, Catherine was photographed dipping into a curtsy, folding her hands across her lap as she bent her knees. When the princess helps the monarch host the president and the first lady of South Korea during their state visit to the UK, she has displayed her exemplary curtsy from yet again. As they exchanged greetings, Prince William bowed his head to greet king and queen, then made his way around to make his spot. Catherine followed her husband up the steps, and when she got to the top, she paused to dip into a curtsy to the king and queen, accompanied by a big smile, before moving to her spot. Just as public citizens may opt to do when meeting a royal, it's common to see members of the family showing respect while greeting each other. Men traditionally bow their heads while women curtsy. When royals don't bow or curtsy to greet the king, the queen, there's likely a logical reason why. They've likely already seen each other that day. Along with a more formal gesture, King Charles and Queen Camilla are often seen greeting family members with kisses on the cheeks or hugs. William and Catherine's senior status within the royal family was reflected in their major role in welcoming South Korea's president and first lady. The day after Queen Elizabeth's death, King Charles made them the new prince and princess of Wales, recognizing their critical roles ahead. Charles is leading the way for them already, and the Waleses are both involved in decision-making behind the scenes. They are ready and willing to do the job, and Catherine is very much part of that, a friend of the princess recently told.